call the uh, Irvington um, building, uh, Village of Irvington uh, Architecture Review Board to order. You have to excuse me, I just came off vacation yesterday. So <laughs> not back into the, into the groove yet. At any rate, um, we will go as we normally do with uh, revisions first and then and then to new matters. And we'll go in ascending order. So we will work our way up if you have a copy of the. Uh, of the agenda so we would like to call first also I'd like to remind you if you if you are to come up and, and make a presentation please state your name and if you're not the applicant uh, who you are and, and who you represent uh, make sure you speak it to the microphone at all time at this point I'd like to call the revision ARB 18-2699 Bracebridge Brace Bridge Lane Very similar in architecture, um, representing Calvin Fieri. This is a project that you guys saw uh, a few months ago, two maybe two, two months ago. Uh, it's a project for renovation uh, of an existing barn that's on the aqueduct that many who live in Irvington are familiar with, the red little red agricultural barn building. So what has happened since we last met is we did a structural evaluation. We did some selective demolition on the ground floor level, pulled off the, there was a wood uh, paneling on the inside, pulled off to expose the framing, and almost immediately ran out expecting that we were going to be killed. Like basically what ended up happening is the structure around the ground level is so lightly framed that the exterior sheathing is holding the thing up. And so we worked with our structural engineer to try to figure out a way to maintain the existing building, and there's nothing that she could certify for us to do other than to take it down and put it back up. So the project that's in front of you today, the intent is approximately the same in terms of the design. There's a few changes that I'll show you that were just refinements that the client came up with since we're taking it down. But the intent was to try to keep the, the language and the volume and the effect of the building the same. But, you know, because it has to be taken down and reframed, the, uh, you know, there'll be new shingles on the outside. And the so end. this residence is not considered a, uh, a, a architectural, uh, something that, that should be architecturally preserved? It, well, I think it is considered, in our mind, it was considered that, that find a way to <coughs> save the structure. Basically what's happened is there's not a, a structure that could be saved or could be that could be certified by our structural engineer. And I, so it's sort of, we got into that position where you could uh, reframe the entire thing while trying to hold a, a roof structure up. We did some cost estimating on that. What we would be saving would be a roof structure that has asphalt shingles on the top of it, right? So there's not a historic material that's associated with the roof structure. Uh, in reframing the perimeter wall, all of the shingles, the old shingles that are associated with that would have to be replaced. The shingles also wouldn't have been original because they have a, you know, 30 to 50 year lifespan, so they're not the same age as the building anyway. But, you know, basically uh, the cost of doing sort of a piecemeal um, move around the building was almost three times as much as what it would be to take it down. And the benefit in our eyes was like if we're not saving some kind of original exterior. Least, my point is the, the architect is not such that you have to go through a demolition uh, no. request. No. I, I would have assumed uh, the building department would have. Yeah, yeah, they would have flagged it. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I went down a path there. Well, that's right. So in terms of the in terms of the modifications, that I just wanted to point out to everyone. And these are the images for those who haven't seen this before. This is the building. Um, as is now. The proposed modifications in the design were to add a series of windows that are facing the aqueduct. Right now, on the existing building, there are a few windows, large windows that are facing this direction. In the last design that we had shown you, we had eliminated all those windows and just had a blank wall. And this is because the user, the owner, is a painter and was looking for wall space. They had a change of heart and asked us to add windows here. Um, the other change is that 
Um, roof is being replaced. At this point, we're showing a standing seam roof in a, um, uh, it's a Kynar paint color, but it's the Kynar paint color from Addis that's closest to a lead-coated copper. You know, it's trying to emulate uh, agricultural building. <coughs> Other than that, the finishes and the design are the same. You know, the dormer that we have located here, the existing, which I think is the most valuable piece on it, is the foundation and the stonework associated with the foundation that's staying in place. And the change we made here, if you remember, we had one small window here and a small window on this side. Um, the owner wanted to make more glass to the aqueduct side, which we think, in terms of the design of that elevation, there wasn't really an issue in making that change. In terms of what you're actually saving, then, is it just the foundation? Foundation is going to be the only original. So the goal, again, so if you see, um, if we slap and the, um, yeah, this is this is the proposed. I mean, this is the existing. So the existing has some odd conditions that were late modifications, like the sideways windows. All of these punches are sort of later um, punches. So we're going from this to to this. So again, the out, the exterior form of the building is the same. The finishes are still shingle. The roof I'm considering actually an upgrade because it was an asphalt shingle that was to remain and to go to the metal. You know, is I think an improvement. The barn door that you're losing, that's um, that doesn't fix the aqueduct. That's, no, that's the other side. That's the other side. And I, again, that was uh, trying to increase wall space on the interior for a uh, large, he's a painter and we have wall space in there. We also think that, you know, the functionality of it, it's not, it wasn't a, it has a, um, a wood floor structure. It wasn't intended to hold a car, so the benefit of that. So. The, it, again, it's facing away from the aqueduct is to have the solid channels there, and then this door is larger to bring larger canvases in. And the channels are on, that, on the new elevation? Yeah, so, the, so we'll do shingles on three sides like it is right now. Uh, this side currently has a vertical siding, so we're doing sort of a switch on the vertical siding. This was sort of our approach to um, let this side of the building be modern and have sort of a different, uh, different character. And that's the same as the earlier design. And what's the roof structure? The roof structure is going to be a new, uh, it's, an, it's shown as LDL uh, engineered lumber. Um, I was actually asking, is it a, is it a, a you know, tie between the two sides? Outside? It doesn't, no, it has, a, uh, it has a structural ridge that's holding it up. So the, the space is cathedral, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a cathedral ceiling in the area of the painting studio. Is the existing right now, or like it, super light wishes? It's su to? super light. There, you know, some of it is um, <coughs> it's uh, two by fours, like full two by fours on the flat. Uh, they, I, it's hard to tell what the existing barn was because they're so far apart. Some of them are like forty-eight inches apart. Mm -hmm. That there's a um, window on the end here where there's a load from, there's a central beam right now that's running across the uh, attic that's uh, breaking the span of the ceiling rafters. And it was supported on a post here, and they cut a window in, yeah. just cut it off, and there was no post there. So I mean, uh, the thing has been, been held up by uh, the exterior siding. I'm pretty sure is why it hasn't fallen down. And there was an area where it's rotated off, and there's a lot of rot that's associated with it. On the, uh the lower left hand corner pocket outside elevation. Yeah. Right? So that's uh, south facing. Right. Um, the previous shiplap or beaker roof that's on the uh, east. This is of the south. This is actually the south. south, oh, south sorry. And that's, that's the, the west, west elevation. West, sorry. Right. My bad. Um, question just about the, about the fascia with the bottom trim board. Right. It's. I know that side is being proposed as different everywhere else, but it looks looks so much heavier than the other. Yeah, elevation. that is something we could do. We have a small trim board here. We were turning the corner here just because of the depth of the framing was there. But another thing that we could do is match, try to match that condition at least at the bottom line and let the um, the vertical siding extend past. So the corner board's the same. They just look different because of the cutter. The corner boards on the, yeah, because of the gutter, you're seeing a thinner one, but typically we show them the corner boards at, at five and a half. So. 
similar to the, um, to the window wall. I mean, just to, although you're being consistent from one side to another, I think the bottom trim board is really awkward to me. Yeah, no, one more time. What else changed on the elevation? The one big window in the corner. There were two. two there slides. were two thin uh, slices here. They were yep. supposed to give privacy, but just like a little bit of view, and yep. so we just eliminated that one and made a relationship. Closer to the southwest. Yeah. Um, the only other comment I have on the regarding the new windows on the western elevation, they seem out of context to the other windows that you have on the east. Right. I don't know. It, 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 it this, would feel better. This one, the, the thing that's happened, the way the barn is right now, there was a, there was more barn to the south of it. It was part of a building. We think that this was actually in addition to an older building. The older building was taken down. And so right now, this part of the barn didn't have, it has um, no framing and just has uh, siding. It just has vertical siding on there. So we were trying to reference that this side has sort of been sliced off so that the traditional sides of it were these three sides. and this is. I think I'm going to misspoke on the, it's the one where you have three oh, these. very regimented. Yeah. Like the, the ribbon of the square ones together, I don't know. I, if you took those three windows and repeated them again, in that elevation, I think it would just look better overall. So you're saying you're, you're, you like this better and maybe on this side would be less than the, than the There's ribbon. something about that, ribbon. The, the ribbon of windows that speaks more to that other elevation. The other ones, oh, like when I look at the top elevation, and I wasn't here for the original, so all my right. comments might be totally off right. Like, the first two elevations make perfect sense to me together, and if those windows translate to the third, right. I, I'd be all in on the changes. Okay. So this, if this ended up being something that was more like a series of punctures as opposed to a strip. Yeah, but I understand if they're, us if they're using that elevation for I'm not sure the head heights or anything, or if that's supposed to be some sort of gallery type setting where they want things. Those I'm not sure, so I don't I don't want to speak. To this one is related to sort of bathroom, you know, like the configuration of the stair along this side. Mm -hmm. This one, um, it could be different. I mean, Don is here today. I think the the intent was to just have the sill as high as possible. So these windows are. Actually, the sill is higher oh, okay. in this situation because it's a more we're space. trying to get more sure. up from the ground. So we had looked at a few different configurations, and um, there was something odd about having the same. And we did start with what you're saying, having the same sill jump ship. No, 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 you know, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Sill difference between the two. These provide views, you know, because they're below eye level. Where these, you know, the those are up here right now. Okay. Is it the height of those windows? No, it's not the height. Where it's, it's the rhythm. rhythm. It's the rhythm. There's just something about it that acts as one window. When I'm looking yeah. at it, the other ones are punctured openings. I, typically, I would say the head height bothers me too. But since there's you're swinging down to a lower elevation, you can't experience it the same way. I don't mind that they're different. It's just it's simply the rhythm. That's all it is. Yeah, like the, he's thinking that it's more, that you know these are more like a puncture base. Thing in the traditional, and this starts to reference almost a modern thing where you have more contrast. That's what I'm saying. If I, if I put my hand over one side of the elevation, they all, everything sings except those windows. That's anybody else? I just wonder about all the glass on the south side. Yeah. I don't know because I was in there. Okay, sorry. Not, uh, all the glass on the south side, again, I sort of get the idea of getting light in from the south, but it's it's contrary to a painting that I recall, but I think that's obviously yeah, that was already <laughs> good. Contrary to what? Um, yeah. Even light. It's not even light throughout the day. It's very yeah. <laughs> yeah. That the more uneven, the better. Since the board approved it last. Right. Well, so much. I mean, it has, but it has. I'm sorry, but the whole that, that, that building's gone. Yeah. <laughs> that building's totally gone. Okay. I mean, just to say. Yeah. It hasn't. But no, we did. We did ask Don why are we why are we doing South White at all. And that's his. It's I, yeah, I, I, I I like different kinds of light. What color is instructions? We're gonna go the red. We're gonna go back to the red that's there. And that's for the shingles and the uh, vertical boards. Uh, yes, the whole thing would be painted monochromatic. 
including the trim. The, the windows are the windows are a um, bronze colored um, you know bronze colored aluminum window. So the traditional windows will look like darker, more like a Victorian kind of dark punch. Um, roof penetrations, anything? Vents, louvers, pipes. There is place. there is one. There's going to be one um, vent that's not shown here. There is there's going to be one plumbing the vent toilet. that's going to be shown, but it's on not on the aqueduct side. Yeah, there's a toilet. <coughs> there's a toilet line that's not in here. This is in the aqueduct buffer. <coughs> yes. Because if you wanted to have a fireplace or something in there, yeah. Right, right now the only the heating that's being proposed is just a heat pump, an electric heat pump. Mm -hmm. So we're not running gas or, or to the to the property. We're just going to use electric. I mean, it's it's thought of as a um, you know, studio as opposed yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a motion to approve the application? May I ask a question? Sure. Um, my name is Peter Buderi. My wife Simone and I live directly south of the house, the barn. Um, the south-facing elevation. What are the windows framed in? What the material and the color? There, there. Uh, the outside of the window will be a bronze aluminum. It's called a, a um, clad window. So it's a wood window with a. a bronze colored aluminum, so like a Kynar paint on aluminum. So that'd be like a, a darker... Is that like a dark bronze during not in color or a different kind of bronze? No, it's, it's, not, it's not real bronze, but it's basically it's meant to emulate, color. yeah, sort of metal and bronze. And is the center volume wider because there's a post in there? Yes, that's what's supporting the structural ridge. And it's clear glass? Yes. And what's the... The framing is what color? The, the, the trim mm -hmm. The trim is all going to be painted right. out red to match the bar. How high are the windows on the floor? These windows are about 8 feet up on the top of these, a little bit higher than 8 feet. So the window that was facing kind of into your property on the corner, actually, we had two sort of slits, one that would be facing um, southwest and one that would be facing more southeast. So the focus is really this. This view is more down the aqueduct. I mean, if the issue was privacy to your side, or I think it's relatively private to that direction. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else on the floor? Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the application? So moved. Second. Aye. Right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Thank you. to ARB 18-4853 Jaffrey Court, exterior elevation change. <coughs> Hi, Donna Duckin, I'm landscape architect for the Gordons. Explain a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure what the exterior elevation change would never. That's never really come up prior in any of the prior meetings. So I'm not sure what that refers to because there really isn't. They use that. That's like a catch-all. Okay. Okay. Great. Because so sure. um, what this project really is is uh, improving drainage from a neighbor that that the elevation has during a, re a renovation of the neighbor. They raise the elevation, so the, this property is taking on much more water than it previously had. The second part of the project is to improve circulation. There's a back door that was difficult to get to, so we are swapping out pavement from the front to provide privacy and to discourage trespassing. People come down this lane and go through this property to get up on the aqueduct, so we're swapping out shrubs 
and to add privacy and adding the pavement that was here to this area to provide circulation to the back door. In addition to that, there's a little bit of a natural stone wall up here, again, to provide additional drainage to be caught prior to coming down this that slope. Is, that is new? That is proposed. That's, that's when the exterior elevation change. Um, and, and that's really the extent of it, in addition to just, you know, some plantings and opening up this terrace to make it more easy, easier to get around, I suppose. <coughs> There's some images here. Um, this is the area that we're putting in a hedge because pe this is the end of a street and people do come through their property onto their terrace to go up to the aqueduct. This is the view from the aqueduct looking to the 53 Jaffray and this is the neighbors. And this is the gate, proposed gate area. This is going to be a split rail gate. It will be porous. Um, this is... Is there anywhere on the drawings that you're showing where you're proposing the, the fencing? Yeah, it's on the layout plan. The, the fencing is just along the aqueduct. It's replacing existing fencing here. Okay. Uh, of the same style? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why it's not on here. I think it's on a detail. And no, but I'm saying it, it's not. It's not. Uh, the building department didn't make light of it because we replaced, you know, existing with, with the same. It's not. It doesn't okay. come before us. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think that this is the you know the access to the rear door where the existing brick pavement will be extended to get to the. Rear are those pavers leaving? These pavers in the back are leaving. They're in the back. They will be reused in this area okay. up here. But I mean, the paper's going to that door that you see on the lower right. Yeah, these will be going. Okay. And that's the extent of the project. So the exist the newly proposed screening they're putting into just planting? Right. It's a mix of plants. It's just the viburnum and stuff like that? Yeah, witch hazel, viburnum. Is this proper to all the deer? There's no plan with the like chicken wire on the uh, the Yeah, I don't think that it's not the height, but it is the deer. Yeah, that's the deer will jump right over that. It's only five feet. Because the aqueduct anyway, so the deer can come through. Show me again where that where that wall is going to go. It is there. It's also showing. I guess, I guess it's going to be. Um, the the plantings in and around it, or, or behind it. Behind yeah, one in front and plantings. Uh -huh. Did you show the gate in the drawings anywhere? I think it's on there. It's a split rail gate. Yeah, I think it's on the gate detail, on the fencing detail next to it. You show when you're drawing where that gate is? Where it is? It's in the same location that there's an opening now. Yeah, there's no gate right now. All right. Questions from the floor? Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the application? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
We will move on to ARB 18 49 26 Lewis Road Edition. Malone Architecture, representing Benjamin and Emily Burley. So this is a project for a renovation to an existing house, uh, an existing one-story 60s or uh, I think it's 60s modern, maybe 50s modern. What we're proposing to do is replace the building down to the foundation on the um, on the existing foundation, and then add an additional wing. That is a garage wing. Quickly, this is the extent of the existing foundation. Um, the proposal is to have two gabled wings in this area with a flat roof connector and a double height space on the first floor here. And then this is a garage wing with sort of a hinge and plan and connector connecting the garage. On the second level, there's a master bedroom suite occupying one of the gable forms, and then uh, children's bedrooms occupying this gable form, open to below here with some master closet and service areas, and then more uh, bedroom and gathering space above the garage. This uh, hinge piece acts as the vertical circulation. That's, that's new as well. That's new. So the, the new footprint starts here. But basically, this is a new two-story building on existing right. foundation. Uh, here, this just quickly is the, um, the roof plan. So you see there's two gable that are equal widths. That, yeah, there's a, um, a roof garden or a roof terrace. And then the garage is a similar gable to the. And that roof is what material? The roof is a uh, uh, red sea metal. Roof. So this is the proposed, um, the proposed uh, south elevation or the, the front elevation of the house. So you see these, these three gables, sort of the language. It's almost um, a little postmodern, I would say. And then the connector piece here. Um, the finish on these pieces is stucco. The finish on the connector, the upper level of the connector is wood. And then in this lower level here, what we're trying to get that whole section to be dark. So there's a storefront um, system here, an aluminum window system here. And then it looks much different, but I guess in terms of its coloration, you know, this is the kind of relationship that we were trying to get. So like the lower level was a darker level. That's your cement panel. That's the cement panel. And the, the upper level is a, is a wood. What's the, what's the vertical? What's the, uh, just to the right of the stucco mass. This we're showing is stucco. Is this that's one? Yeah, yeah. That's this true. one we're showing is stucco also. Okay. It had to do with this foundation portion was wider, and we needed a little additional space in the suite. So we're sort of putting a slot here to break it off as its own thing. So then when you're in this space, you've got stucco, stucco to the side. So it's, what's the stucco color? The stucco color is, is an off-white. Like this, this is not the right texture. If we're going for a more modern texture. This is a piece of color. Uh, so basically it's like from walking from left to right it's gray, black, gray, wood, black. Am I reading that right? Yes. So yeah, that's stucco, then dark, right? That would be gray all the way through. Then stucco, then wood, and then dark, stucco, wood, dark, stucco. What's the last mass? Is that cement panel on the that's this is wood. So this whole extension, as we go around to the north side of the building, so on this side, the, this again would just be the stucco that's associated with the gable. And this is sort of a protrusion that's sticking out that's wood. That is the garage that's sort of a blank. So that's going to be stained in that color? Yes. And then as we come around, this is the stair tower that we're showing in the Nichiha. The Nichiha panel is a 
18 inch long panel. It doesn't have any face fasteners. I don't know if you've seen cement panels in a lot of applications that have, you know, screws in them. So that one of the reasons it's thin and long is because then it doesn't cup, it doesn't need additional fasteners, so it can all have hidden fasteners behind. Uh, and then as we continue around, continue around the building. This is the rear elevation, very similar to the front elevation. The one distinction here is in this connector piece here. Um, we, the client asked to reduce the glass, you know, this was more of a glass connector, reduce the glass area. So this is actually wood. It is step back, so the panel returns, and this is step back, but it is wood all the way down there. This wood whole area. Wood stained dark or wood stained brown? It's the same, it's this wood. So it's, it goes from the dark panel to the wood in this case. And then over here it is a combination of the glazed, you know, the dark glaze and the and the cement panel between the two stucco volumes. Yeah, very similar. The uh, chimney would be stucco. There is roof access up here that is this dormer. I mean, here it looks much more like a mess, but again, this is already up on a hill, and as you approach, this is set sort of in the middle of the gable, so I don't think it's going to have as much of a visual. Uh, impact as it shows on flat elevations. So, um, you know, quickly, if you want to do, do look quickly at the site, just sort of the. site there's an existing driveway that is to remain, there's an asphalt driveway that's going to be approved, improved in the area that we're doing the work. There's some stormwater um, work underneath that driveway. And then around the building there's a few, there's a, a covered porch that we're doing in stone that actually meets some existing stone outcropping. Um, it's not, not a porch, I'm sorry, it's just sort of a patio out of that area. Um, there's a, a two-level patio. Uh, you threw planning? Uh, we have through planning, yes. Did you prepare the renderings? We did not. We have a hard time understanding the whole picture. The whole picture? Yeah. As I'm a 3D a skilled building. Professional. <laughs> I hope I'm skilled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we did. We haven't put together a model for this just in terms of the. Uh, I think it would be helpful to everybody. It's a big, such a big change to this house. Okay. I didn't even realize that roof access was there. Now that I see it, it looks kind of chopped from, from that side. Right. I mean, it might be set back far enough that you don't perceive it, but right now you look at it, you're going, is that going to jump out? Is it? Right. I mean, it's sort of set in the middle of the gable. Yeah. Uh, certainly on the approach side, it's probably going to be, you might, you're going to catch it, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to fight with the triangle of the gable end as if it were, you know, in the elevation it looks like it's. What kind of access is it? Is it like walking out like a patio door? Yeah, it's a, it's a single door. The whole, the whole scale of the building is kind of small too, so the gable height. That's what I'm having, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, the gable heights are like eight foot to the top of the gable. There's not like a huge attic space up there. Um, the bedroom masses are only like 16 wide or something. Yeah, like it's, not, it's not as, you know, there's something about the, the multiple wings that may make you think it's like a Montauk or a Hampton kind of giant thing, but it's not. Yeah, this yeah, it would be helpful because the garage's relationship to the main house, because right now we're doing this and we're right. sort of hard to follow the, I mean, I get the main house, the garage's relationship and setting down in a big driveway in front. Sort of tough to get it. Um, the elevation? And the second thing is, I think the question was asked about the color, the coloration, and that's so, there's not, <coughs> other than our imagination. Can you show us these? Pictures? There it is. That's what's up there. It might, it might be 50s, I think it's 50s. It looks like it had some work done on it. Oops. 
so again, this is a quarter yeah. scale, so this is sort of the, uh, <coughs> that's the garage. So what I find a little bit confusing is you work to create that axis, right? The, you know, the centralized axis of the house and the two sides balancing it. And then there's this other object that's really jumping out. At first I thought, when I looked at, when I looked at the plan, I thought, okay, it's a low element. It might even be relate to those flat roofs. But now you have this third gable, which is not related to the, and right. then it's got a little um, uh, bustle that's sticking out on right. the back so your car fits. Right. And that's not, I'm not convinced that it's not going to look like a jumble. Even to the point of the glass between the two elements is sort of the same as the windows, as opposed to the other language of connection. Right. You're saying you this this piece of glass yeah. there? And I mean the 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 bustle, the roof line, and the sort of I, I'm, because they're going to be in different planes. I get the idea of trying to close it in, but why isn't it just an extension of that form coming around? Why isn't it more of that, yeah. more of the flat roof as opposed to the cable? I mean, I get the idea. You want space up there? You know, the garage bedroom. Right. Yeah, I think. And what we were thinking is that these are these um, three abstract forms, and sometimes they stay put, and sometimes they um, shift forward. You know. Yeah, you'd have to see that in a model just to be convinced about it. Do you think a rendering would be sufficient as opposed to a physical model? I kind of I turn to others here to ask the question, but sort of two different projects. Two, yeah. Personally, the model is much more expensive. Uh, just in terms of the high frame, yeah, it's right. I mean, well, I mean the model time, that, and, time and money, which is which is. Uh, we should we should talk about that. I mean, I, I think re renders are something that are something that we could put together and probably give you, you know, if there's questions about the visibility also, of that so you know, model, you can get that. I'd say here. you can show it 3D. You know, do a project uh, axonometric or orthographic projection or anything like that would be helpful. Okay. Just as a sort of, you know, just what the next meeting is, right? When is that? Month 24. Get stuck by I, thought, I thought we were two weeks out. All right. Um, do you, you guys have something else on the agenda? Yeah, one's one Do you mind? Would you, um, you know, could you do the other one and then I can talk to the client about what the hell they want to proceed sure. and we come back? Sure. That would be great. We'll continue either way. I'm going to continue some. Okay. You're planning to continue either way. Okay. Well, I would think so. You yeah. have to believe for a full time. Okay, so let me just, uh, if we just want to touch base. Can I come back and talk more questions? Or it would be great to get the rest of the input. Yeah, we'll just give them all our input now. Um, no, I just I have a couple more questions. I know um, the 3D model will always be helpful no matter what, but I, I'm, I'm reading things and I, I think I understand what you're trying to put together. My, my one question would be the, the balcony projection on the right in the garage area? Right. Is that a function of just the garage below and trying to maintain this rhythm? Um, or, or is it like, or the views like sing out that direction? Or the, the view up there is very nice. The balcony it's, projection it's, is you're uh, high on the hill and you have long, uh, you know, sort of. Is that facing Arsley? It's, it's facing actually there? facing um, north northwest, but in that area, that's where the driveway comes up to the property and there's no, <coughs> no other buildings that way. So it's a very right. strong. Um, my other question is to do with just the, the kind of the groundscaping elements, like the couple, like the fence that's the lower fence that's up against the driveway. This one. Yeah. What is, what's that? Kind of so, thing? because of the overhang there, this planning board typically makes us put some kind of traffic barrier sure. there. So this this is a design to have a traffic barrier that's strong enough to take its structure from the wall, but then we're, we're designing as a trellis. So the goal would be to grow yeah, stuff, then, plant plant the thing. So it's a, it's a wood. It's a wood. The slats are wood, but it has a low capacity. How about the garage doors on the corner? The garage doors are flat, so they're they're meant to look more like the cement panel. They're just a, a flush uh, garage door with only black. Very simple elevation. Okay. So it's the cement board subdivided. I can't. I didn't. So here you can see. I see that there, but on the and then the stucco is just flush the whole way. The stucco is flush. The cement where you can see the cement board more is in this tower piece where you can see that's the length of a cement board. 
it's like 18, they're like 18 inch. 18 inches by 6 feet is what the Do you have the do you have the interior what's the bump? So if you go back to the main elevation, it's just me I'm, like I said, that, that bump that's on the first pavilion. This. Yeah. That's the stair? Yeah, no that this this bump is actually more of the master suite, so there's a bathroom in here. Yeah. And that plane is in the same. It's, this is it the, sits back. Yeah, this, this is this is that yes. one sits back. This sits back. Yeah, right. So these two are in the same, but yes, it's those different. two are in the same. Right, they're in the same plane. Right. So again, it's sort of this trying for the symmetry, and then and then another move, another move. Some of some of this, which I get, I get that the program is driving this. Right, and some of this was actually driven by existing foundation depth, uh -huh. right? so they had a wing on this side that was different. I I find this kind of play making this a little bit more interesting, in terms of you know having this condition rather than a strict symmetry of the two sides. It gives that that gives a little bit more interest to me than it would be if it was just two simple buildings. I think I understand your concern here, right? That it's. Not as well, sharp as it could be. That when you show the, I can't get my orientation, the elevation looking at the garage, right. that's when I became convinced that it's this. The how big it is. Okay. Yeah. That wall is a big wall. Right. I mean, I actually, I think the wood reads, like, I mean, the horizontal band of the wood that stretches across, I think if the, the coloration, if the garage, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, if I'm just going ABC or dark light, dark light, like that all reads. I just think the garage is much further towards us. Yeah. And that isn't translated in this, but it doesn't it doesn't mean it doesn't mentally translate. Right. What's and the difference in the in the wood piece there to the garage? This the yeah. difference in plane is about six inches. Uh -huh. you're saying from that line to that line. We've created a language which is that these objects get separated, and then that one's the one that sort of feels like an oddball. Yeah, this one we're thinking more like it's, but it's there's some kind sorry, of you linear made box. Wood. You made it wood, right. right? So that's your right. That's why I asked the. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't read that. Can't get into, but like the that wood element, which is pretty pronounced on approach, like that's the biggest, probably the biggest chunk of wood, and by wood I mean brown or something. Right. Like when you turn the corner and go to the hinge that you see like on approach, right. like it seems like that element wants to be anywhere where you have windows, like it feels like it wants to be black, even right. if the wood is black. Like the, your, your low connector is black, your upper connector is brown. When you turn the corner, when the area where you reduce windows. And right, so let me just, just to be clear, like this, this, this one is a black connector. Exactly. That's the preferred approach. Right? Yeah. This, I mean, what we're showing here, um, this connector, That's wood. right, being wood, had more to do with us taking the black panel from here. Um, now, this is something I can look at with the client, see if there's wood super there. I wonder if it reads. Which side? Like is the brown. Which side is it? I just can't see. Oh, sorry. It's the, it's the um, back. I'm on up front. Oh, it's the back. Up right. Up. It's the front. Come on. <laughs> I just don't I can't see the I'm not the that's the one that's in the woods. Yeah, so this, that's the side that's in the woods. This like is the, really in the woods. Yeah. yeah. Right, I think what I was saying, this one is probably not visible. Well, the building's not visible. For me. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the, the, yeah. honestly, that's, no, the one, that's the point. <laughs> just looking in the region, knowing what it is, as much as it's far off from what the original ones right. I think would be, like a lot of this is deep. It's like right back, and there's even. Yeah, you know, I think there's massing some elements even along Lewis that like are somewhat reminiscent to this, like the teal house with the huge round bell in it that's right, right. like totally has some postmodern feel to it. Like right. the massing and stuff, it makes sense to me. I'm just for me, I I would start nitpicking like where I would add wood as opposed to stuff, but that's that's inconsequential in my opinion. And there have been, you know, in our design for it, I mean, just so you guys know, this, this whole thing was glass, this connector. And so driven by 
some considerations of functionality and cost. Um, yeah. You know, some of, some of these things that you're pointing out are related to that. So, you know, just as as the diagram of the house, right? It would be stucco, glass, glass, concrete. You know, like that. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like when you're working yeah. for your party and what you're doing in certain places, I see that one as a little around the corner. And even if it was changed for cost considerations, I would like. I just made it black. Right. Black wood, black sand, or something. Like that. Right. Just oh, you're just saying just maybe in terms of a color approach, because yeah. it also could be a uh, you know it could be. Or it can match the connector. Or it can match the connector. Yeah. I said. yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, I, if I take the garage away, it's like the reverse version of what you're doing on the front, which is wood with glass below. Right. So it's basically brown on top, black on the bottom. And that seems to read across that elevation. It's all, I mean, it's reading as one, and then everything turns the corner. All right, so maybe if you guys have, is, oh, is there other stuff? Anybody else? Uh, any handrails on the ground on the deck on the back? No. No, we have less than 30 inches, so we're not showing any cards there. And the roof is, the roof is glass on it's every stainless cable low and glass on Yeah, we have two different roof types. Um, we have glass above and we have a uh, stainless cable. The glass, the glass rails are up towards the leading edge of the flat roof? Yes. Where they, it's not back of the green roof, there's the green roof, and then it's in, the glass is in the middle, or it's on the other side? We've shown the, we've shown the glass edge to edge, I think, at the moment. I think we had it in one of these. It's slightly back, right? It's, yeah, it's behind the parapet, but it's, it's, it's not the whole in between. Roof. It's not like in between the deck, and so I can walk off the deck and then the green roof. Right. Yeah. So you access the green roof, and yeah, basically the two lines are here. It's about two or, th two or three feet back. Fifty forty eight Hudson Avenue. Thanks. Hi, I'm Anna Plunda. I'm the home. I'm Anna Plunda. I'm the homeowner. We read your mea culpa. That was dumb. Those are existing. The deer pants and yes. the and the aluminum pants. So it's all it's all done. It's just yes. a matter of looking at the pictures. And yes. Yeah. Sorry. Was there any type of fencing there before? Not where not where we placed it. Do neighbors have any fencing? Um. There's a fence, there's deer fencing um, that spreads the yards among multiple yards um, to the right of us. Um, and there was, there's, there's a small fence um, where we did not put the fence around. Uh, we weren't sure if that was our neighbor's fence or our fence. Turns out it was our fence, so we just kind of worked around it because the deer were not hopping that fence. Was it this small, looking at your plan, is it this portion that wasn't highlighted? Yeah. So did you match that section of the wire fence? Um, it, it looks like deer fencing. It's just um, really well, crummy looking. It's no, nice. This, this is crummy. And this <laughs> no, no, no. no. So Sorry. This part, this little art was already here, right. and it's like a thin metal, almost like, it's that uh, fancy term. Vinyl coated, like, uh, or is it the metal, silver metal? Chain, chain yep, yes. yes. <laughs> so essentially, the entire yard is um, fenced. Yes, that was the intention. Are there any? Uh, and um, 
gates? Yes. There's a gate. There's two gates. One on the right that is a double gate. Sure. Just, just drop it. discussed it with both neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they were sympathetic because the deer are their problem too. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Um, I will uh, make a note in the uh, building department documents where these two gates are, the single gate and the double gate. The uh, approved drawing should show those and I will make sure that I show them in the, in the drawing. No pleasure on the photograph. That's the double gate. Yeah. So I don't need to do that. I'll just do the other single gate. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see that on the It's hard to see it. Yeah. Right, well, I don't need to make a motion to approve an amended drawing. Because it's there. Do we have a motion to approve? Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. You too. You can um, call the building department in a couple of days and they'll have the paperwork all ready for you so you can. Yeah, what do I do? I just. Just call the building department, I'd say, by, by Wednesday. Okay. And say, you know, I know I was approved at the uh, ARB. It's my next step. You know, the city can come down and pick up your, you know, approval. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Yep. <clears throat> This is yours? Yeah. Uh, no, no. All right. All right. As I alluded to earlier, we are, I don't know, we are not meeting on the 10th. Uh, for Professor Rosh Hashanah. We are next meeting at 924. Uh, I expect to have us full staff by then, but one never knows. So, if the two uh, alternates would keep their ears open, I will reach out. So we're gonna, I just want to show, we'll put together a rendering of what it's buying to do is to do um, an in-house model in Revit that would give you enough um, uh, material and information, but it won't be the, the beauty shot that we would do if we would go out of the house. So rather than give you guys like super duper beauty shots that are really for marketing, yeah. we're going to give you more of more useful shape information, right? But with enough information about materials so this is clear. And you're confident you, you'll have it done by the by yeah. Yeah. next meeting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, thank you guys. All right, we will continue until the next meeting. <coughs> thank you. Okay. Hey, John, do you have a second to come in for a minute? Yeah, it's not three weeks. It's a month, right? Yeah, because there's a holiday. Two weeks from tonight is uh, Rosh Hashanah. Should we adjourn? Yeah. Motion to adjourn. So Second. Moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye.